Good morning everyone, we're in Japan. It's our second area, we're here in Osaka. Today we're gonna to show you guys a little bit of what a Japanese house looks like. You open up the door, it's a sliding door. And so, usually you have a place where you take off your shoes right here. Now we're moving on to the guest room. This is where we're staying. I love Japanese houses because they have Japanese traditional mats that you can just lay on it. It's so like awesome, I just love it. I'm gonna, no matter what, I already decided, like even if I live in America, I'm gonna have one room look like this because it just looks so cool. Over here we have the bathroom. It's really cool, all the doors in Japan are sliding, so you walk in and the, and the toilet seat just opens up. Coming upstairs, this is where the dining room and the kitchen area is. Washing machine. This is the bathrooms, the shower room. You have um, the shower head right there, and then you have the um, bathtub, which usually can get as hot as a uh, hot spring, so it's pretty comfortable, and they always have it covered up usually and stuff. Did you like the shower? Yeah, it was uh, pretty nice. Uh, you, the temperature was, you can always change it. Mm -hmm. and it's always in Celsius though, but yeah. it was really nice. We have a nice kitchen. I think these are the switches. The switches are like sideways uh, compared to our normal up and down. So this is just like a normal thing in Japan. They have just loaves of bread or super thick bread. Like our American bread is like, you know, like little slits like this. In Japan, it's either a full loaf where you cut it yourself or it's just a big old chunk like there. There, 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 and there, and there. We're here to finish up getting ready. We're gonna get on the bikes and take them down to the train station. After that, we're gonna take the train up to a place called Namba, which is pretty notorious for all of its like anime, anime stuff. Now we're gonna hit a um, really huge city area called Umeda. I'm excited, let's get started. Ugh. Hey guys, so me and my brother decided to take a little pit stop, have some um, authentic, it's called takoyaki, which is very uh, famous in Osaka. It's pretty much these little balls that have a little bit of octopus in it, oh. and it's like a pancake type of um, coating around it. It's all right, that's the octopus little tentacle. It's like, it's like chewy, like gum, right? Yeah. It's like gum with like a lot of lumps on it. Yeah. I finally got it. I've been coming to Japan for three years and I've always wanted one of these bags. This is like, I call them like Pokemon bags because they're like, you put them on your back and they're super nice to hold things in. And I finally got it. I can finally say I've been to Japan and completed my life. I'm so freaking excited. What do we got? What do you got over there? Well, as you see, we have the A12 and the A16 right there battling with the lightsaber cord who goes off of, like the, the kyber crystals of the sun, you know? So he's doing the move called like the double axe sword swing. And then he also has like hand in a position where he goes, boom! Got you guys. 